Hey there, it's Ashley at Smart Edition Academy. And in today's video, we have a HESI review on standards of measure. So in our video today, we will talk about length conversions, volume and weight conversions, converting between the standard and the metric systems, as well as time conversions and temperature conversions. Okay, so I'm gonna go through some questions together and you can follow along while I solve them. Before we jump in, make sure you check out the links in the description of this video for HESI practice tests, our HESI Facebook study group, our full online HESI course, and our HESI bootcamp. Okay, so let's jump into our review today. So for our length conversions, okay, the basic units of measure that we need in the standard system are, there's 12 inches in a foot, there's three feet in a yard, and there are 5,280 feet in a mile. So we usually know these top two pretty easily. Um, to remember that there's 5,280 feet in a mile, I think about five tomatoes, okay? Five tomatoes, five, two, eight, oh, five tomato, okay? So 5,280 feet are in a mile. When we talk about the metric system, okay, if you can remember how many millimeters, centimeters, decimeters are in a meter, and then how many meters are in each of the other units. That's awesome. I'm gonna also show you a quick little mnemonic to help, okay? So the metric system is based on units of 10, so it's a little bit easier to remember those, but here is a quick little strategy that I use to help myself remember how to do these conversions. So the mnemonic is, King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. So what this is, is each of my units Okay, kilo, hecto, deca, the W is for our whole unit, so this might be grams, liters, meters. Okay, deci, centi, and milli. So King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. So say, for example, we want to take five liters, okay, and turn it into centiliters. Okay, so I would start here. And I have to go to the right twice. So that tells me to move my decimal to the right twice. Okay, so this is 500. If you can just remember, oh, if I just multiply by 100, then you're good. You don't really need this, but I like to use this to help me. So since we're going to talk about length conversions first, let's say we have um, three meters, and I want to know how many kilometers that is. Okay, so three meters, I want to know how many kilometers that is. So I'm going to go from meters, my whole unit, to kilometers. So what I have to do is go to the left three times. So I'm going to take my decimal and move it to the left three times. So what this does is I actually have to add zeros as placeholders here. So this is 0 0.003 kilometers. Okay, so King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. That can be a really helpful mnemonic to do your metric conversions. So let's do a, an example together here. Convert 27 inches to feet. Okay, so I need to go from inches to feet. So I know there are 12 inches in a foot. So what I have to do here is I have to divide 27 by 12. So I'm gonna divide by 12 here and that will get me to my feet. So 27 divided by 12 would give me 2.25 feet, okay? So two and a quarter, 27 divided by 12. Now here's a metric conversion. I need to go from millimeters to centimeters. So if you already have your units memorized, awesome. Go ahead and see if you can find the solution. I'm going to show how we can use our mnemonic. King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. I need to go from millimeters to centimeters. So I just need to go to the left once. Okay, so if I'm taking my decimal always at the end of a whole number and going to the left once, this would be 6.7 centimeters. Okay, awesome. Let's look at some volume and weight conversions now. So you might wanna take a screenshot of this. This is some of the conversions that we will need, pints to fluid ounces, quarts to pints, quarts to gallons, okay? And then also how many ounces are in a pound and how many pounds are in a ton. So let's do some examples of this. Let's convert eight gallons to pints. So one of, we didn't have a conversion that went straight from gallons to pints. So 
what I do know in regards to this is I do know that there is in one quart, we have two pints, okay? And in one gallon, there are four quarts. So I might just have to do a double conversion here to go from gallons to pints, okay? So if I have eight gallons, this would be equal to, I multiply this by four to tell me that I have 32 quarts. Okay, so if I have 32 quarts, well, how many pints is that? So now we need this conversion here. So 32 quarts, we're going to multiply that by two, and we would get 64 pints. So we had to do one conversion and then a second conversion to figure out that one gallon is equal to 20, uh, sorry, is equal to 64 pints. I, I love to make a list of my key conversions like I did here. One quart is two pints and one gallon is four quarts. I like to do that so then I can always reference it. Let's try this one together. Convert two gallons to milliliters. So if I need to go from gallons to milliliters, one of the conversions that I know will help me go from gallons to liters first, okay? So there is for every one gallon, that equals 3.79 liters. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to multiply that times two. So two gallons would be the same thing as 7.58 liters. So now I need to turn it into milliliters. So I swoop the decimal three times, which is the same thing as multiplying by a thousand. There are a thousand milliliters in a liter. So this is 7,580 milliliters. All right, let's convert from pounds to ounces. So if I have 12 and a half pounds, in order to go to ounces, I need to multiply by 16 because there are 16 ounces in a pound. So 12 and a half times 16 would get me to 200. Okay, so really with these conversions, we just need to remember them. We need to have our conversions memorized so that we can do these nice and quick. Convert 84 grams to centigrams. So grams to centigrams, use King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk. It'll tell you to go to the right twice. Also, if you just remember that there are 100 centigrams in a gram, then we just multiply by 100 or swoop to the right twice as well, 8,400 centigrams. Okay, so now let's think about what happens when we have to convert between the standard and the metric system. So here are some conversions that you want to have memorized. Okay, another great thing to screenshot here, centimeters and inches, meters and feet, kilometers and miles. Then we have quarts and liters, liters and gallons, grams and ounces, and then kilograms and pounds. So take a screenshot of this, find ways to memorize this, and let's look at a few examples. Let's try to convert from inches to centimeters. So convert 12 inches to centimeters. So here is our key fact. We need to know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So all I need to do is take my inches and multiply by that factor. So 12 times 2.54. And when we multiply that out, we get 30.48 centimeters. Okay, eight kilometers to feet. So do you remember the conversion for kilometers to feet? Well, we might not have that one right off the bat, right? But we do know how to go from meters to feet. So one meter equals 3.28 feet. Okay, so if I can convert this into meters, then I'm good. So kilometers to meters, we need to just multiply this by a thousand. So this is 8,000 meters. Okay, so I need to take this 8,000 and multiply it by the 3.28 feet that are in every meter. And when I multiply that, I get 26,240 feet. Okay, and when I choose the question, the option that's closest to that, because the, some of these units are rounded, looks like this should be our solution. Okay, so that's an important thing to know on the HESI exam. Sometimes you may not get the exact same answer, but you want to choose the one that is closest, okay?
Okay, here's another example of a metric conversion. So we need to go from liters to milliliters. So start at my whole unit and go three times to the right. That will get me to millin, in this case, milliliters. So I'm gonna take this decimal of one, two, three. So if I write this here, I'd have to put a couple placeholders in to move it over three times. So this means that this is equal to 7,500 milliliters. Okay, let's convert 16 kilograms to pounds. So one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Okay, that's our conversion. So all we have to do is take 16 and multiply it by 2.2. 16 times 2.2 would be about 35.2 pounds. All right, so the last couple conversions we will do here, we are going to talk about our clock conversions. How do we go from a 24 hour clock to military time, uh, it, which is military time to our 12 hour clock? And how do we go from our 12 hour clock back to military time? So here's a quick little thing to reference, okay? When we have from 1 a.m. to 12.59 p.m., they're the same either way, okay? So 9.15 a.m. is just 09.15 in military time. Now, once we get into our 1 p.m. and later, you always wanna add 12 hours to get to the military time. So 4.07 p.m. would be add 12 to the four, right? And that would be 16.07, okay? So when we have 12 a.m. to 12, 12.01 a.m. to 12.59 a.m., that's where we have a zero instead of the 12. So think about like 12 a.m. starts our day, so in military time, that would be zero. So let's look at an example. So 9.27 p.m. in military time. So because this is p.m., okay, it's after 1 p.m., we need to add 12 to my nine. So nine plus 12 would be 21, and then the minutes just stay the same, 21, 27. And our last topic for today is our temperature conversions. So these are formulas you need to know to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. Screenshot this and let's try an example. So, so our last type of conversion today that we'll practice together is going from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. So this example says convert 100 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I need to choose the appropriate formula, which is this one. I'm gonna plug in my Fahrenheit to find my Celsius. So this will equal 5 ninths times 100 minus 32, and 100 minus 32 is 68. So really what we have to do is 5 ninths times 68, okay? So you go ahead, you can plug into your calculator to get that this would equal 37.7 repeating, so that would go on and on and on. So this is approximately 38 degrees Celsius. So there is our quick mini lesson on conversions, our standards of measure. Make sure you check out the links in the description of this video for some more practice and we'll see you in the next video. I passed the um, PESI exam with a 90% and it's all thanks to Smart Edition. I finally took my exam and guess what? I got a 92 overall. I was ecstatic. My school needed 80 overall but i got it 92. with smart edition i 100 percent believe that i passed the hesse with flying colors like i did because of how confident how prepared i was